this is a, an introduction to a basic hydraulic circuit. Just a really first look to introduce you to circuits, show you uh, some of the main components and what's happening. Um, it's a little bit idealized. We've got um, gear pumps supplying the flow, relief valves protecting the pressure and the safety, uh, directional valve to control the f direction of flow, and our actuator which is a cylinder and some pressure gauges uh, showing you the pressure. So let's uh, start. We start with our um, fluid reservoir, our tank. We can see three little symbols here which represent the, uh, the reservoir. They'd all be one larger reservoir that controls, contains the fluid. Um, the fluid is drawn from the reservoir and into our pump. Um, in this case an external gear pump so the fluid will be drawn around the outside of the gears and as the gears mate to together that's what um pushes the fluid out and at the moment there's nowhere for it to go the valve is closed shown by the symbol so it needs to go over our safety pressure relief valve so if it didn't go out somewhere it would um pump would obviously fail uh so this is not i say it's a simple circuit you wouldn't really want all your flow going across a relief valve because you've got maximum pressure um, and it would be very wasteful so coming along here we have our directional valve this is shown as a four-way three position valve so we've got four ways that it can go one two three four and three positions we've got the center position position one activated by our solenoid and position do so three all together three way four position valve um, and if we operate it we can see we take the flow now it stops going through our relief valve it did and follows this symbol because we've switched the symbol from here into here so it's coming from the p port into the b port um, which has driven our cylinder up if we do the other way comes straight through into the a port and drives our cylinder down uh, which is all good and if we stop it whoops, well we stop on the uh, end here and we see our relief valve is opened again because there's nowhere for the fluid to go so um, the relief valve will open with full pressure there now in the mid position if we one thing to notice is that the cylinder is going faster in that direction than it does in the other direction this is because we've got the same amount of flow coming from our pump. We've got a larger area here than we have on this side, so it's moving quicker because there's a smaller area to fill. Another thing to notice is our pressure. We now got pressure to push this down. We've got a mass on it. Uh, ignore gravity. This cylinder is only shown that way, but it, it's. Um, if it had gravity acting on it, it would fall down under its own accord. So, switch it back. And this side we've got higher pressure than we did lowering it because nothing to do with gravity, but this is a smaller area, so we need more pressure to move the same load uh, in a smaller area. So, that's really the basics of our circuit. We've um, got pumps control valves, we probably have some flow control valves in here to control the speed but in this case the speed is comes from the flow produced by the pump um, and we'd have our loads which uh, we really need to understand and say knowing the gra where the gravity of what's happening on the load is, is very important but that's just a simple circuit and if you follow on with the other little exercises and modules we'll, uh, we'll expand and keep adding valves and complexity and explaining how it all works Something else to look at back on the sites so in the training module. There's a lot more content. Shows you some simple animations for how pressure is transmitted throughout the fluid, throughout the system. So hydraulics fluid is considered incompressible for most systems. Apply pressure in force in one place, and it puts that same amount of power and energy to another part of the system. Um, and we've got more text just explaining the various components and the simulations that you can play on and operate yourself. Enjoy!